What's Gucci everybody? Welcome back to another tutorial on how to make a professional resume in latex. In this video we're going to be over we're going to be covering some more latex and some more options you can use to update your resume and we'll be almost done. I'll probably make one more video to make sure this video doesn't be too long. But if you're looking right now at the screen what we can see is there's something I did not mention in the last video, and that's how to italicize something. You have to do slash text IT, and then that stands for italicize, and then pass in whatever you want to that text. So if you wanted boldface text, you would do text BF, and that would boldface it. I'm going to leave that first one like that just because. Okay, now we're going to go over how to do bullet points in our CV, which would be pretty nice, so we can easily, uh, you know, just make bullet points, say our accomplishments, do whatever we need to do, and we do that with the begin itemize command, slash begin itemize, and then slash end itemize, and then between that we have the slash item, and then we just, we don't need any brackets or anything, we just need to say in words what we want, you can say anything you want, and then if you want more items, you can do slash item again, and you can have as many items as you want, and as you see, as many bullet points as you want will be created. Just make sure you have a begin itemize and end itemize, and you don't need indentations right here. It just looks a little bit nicer on lines 12 and 13. Okay, now with the next section, I made another section. You can have as many sections as you want for work, but it's nice to separate things. We used CV with comment. So what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to have basically three different parts of your resume. On the far left, on the far left side of your paper, it's going to be the first parameter. I put Hokey Ambassador, which is something you can be a Virginia Tech. The second parameter is kind of going to be the main comment, which goes through the middle of your resume, which should be the longer string. And the third comment is going to be all the way on the right, so maybe the place or the date of what you did. And you can do that again as many times as you want with the section. So I'm going to quit this right now, and I'm going to make this file, and hopefully everything goes right. So after I make it, then, sorry, I, you got to make it again. We don't have to make it again, but I just wanted to show you guys the command. I'm going to open it, and you can open it again and age it in any text editor you want. And here you go right here. So now if you notice, we have these nice two bullet points, which we got from doing our itemize command. This is boldface because I changed it from italic. This is italic size right here, the 3.85. But this is boldface with text BF. And then this is another way to kind of show off your points. If you don't care as, as many facts as the CV entry method, you can kind of do, I can say Hokey Ambassador, Give Tours, and then what I did. So that's a pretty nice way to show everything. There's no bullet points, but as you can see, the bullet points, again, are the same color as the color you chose in your class file, which, again, if you change that color in your class file, it will iterate, it will, you know, cascade throughout the entire document. And that's kind of the nice way to do everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it was short. Let me know if you have any questions or comments, and let me know what I'm doing well. Thanks, guys. Have the best day of your life.